This is fall at its finest. Sunny skies, warm temps, a bountiful harvest. Deal. There you go. The West Stockbridge Farmers Market serves up more than fresh produce and local wares. Here, the community comes together for a good time. West Stockbridge was originally a quarry town. That train station right over there was the first train station in Western Mass because of the quarries and the marble. Uh, much of which went to places like Washington, D.C. for the Lincoln Memorial. That's when we had probably even more people in West Stockbridge than we do now. Now, population 1,650, not counting summer folk. Joe Roy is third generation and represents the West Stockbridge Village Association. The whole purpose of our association is to promote West Stockbridge. Um, that, uh, we have one bylaw, that's it. Getting here is easy. The Mass Pike ends or begins in West Stockbridge. Exit 1 is a stone's throw from the colorful frontier like Main Street. Park once for plenty to see, do, and consume. The old train station is abuzz with renewed activity. Right outside where we have the front porch is where people would wait for the train and also in back. Today, number six depot is a place to linger over a cup of freshly roasted coffee. A passion that goes back to Flavio Lichtenthal's youth in Buenos Aires. I would say about 10, eight years ago, I started really becoming interested in the simplicity of roasting coffee, which at the time seems simple. It's quite complex, actually. But I like the, the fact that a small bean that could be so affected by a few seconds and a few degrees. This one is the note from the underground. So it's super deep and very chocolatey, cocoa-y. We work with the finest beans from around the equator. Right now, I'm working with about 14 single origins, which means different countries. And each one has its own roads. Flavio and his wife, Lisa Landry, share a vision for their depot. Just having a roaster and then wholesaling it, we thought there's this whole component of coffee that's missing if we do that. And it's really about the community. So the history of coffee has always been about a gathering place. They serve simple food made from local ingredients and have turned the heart of the station into a gallery and event venue. We book local and international artists, so we change the art on the walls every six weeks. We have dance parties here, we have theater, film. Lisa loves the sense of community and West Stockbridge. I think it's still a real town where it's not just boutique-y. We still have a hardware store, we have a bank, we have a post office, we have a corner market. I'm a big fan of the bookstore across the street, Shaker Mill Books, and we have a Main Street, and we have a population that really cares. Flavio says the train station is a perfect fit. It's truly a depot. And a depot is a place where people come and go. We are bringing things from far and wide to our customers here so they can tra travel uh, by visiting us. We're spreading, spreading the beans. It started as a lark in 1976. Today, Joel Hotchkiss is... I'm a mobile maker. That's what I do. He did it for a number of years in California, and in 1993 returned to his New England roots, settling in West Stockbridge. Gallery in the front, large, huge studio on the back, which is open to people daily, which is, I think, why people love coming here. They get to see the, the whole picture. Mobiles and more. My wife does buying for the gallery, jewelry, clothing, glass, ceramics, all the other things we offer, you know, that are below the ceiling. The museums love them. The Guggenheim carries them. San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, National Gallery carries them. Comes right out of the box, ready to go. The one thing people hate is assembly, they freak out. It's really a little, little lost in time place. You can kind of lay down all your your stuff at the outskirts and just come in and relax. That's great. You know, it's not really enough to be no. quaint or quintessential anymore, right? Towns like West Stockbridge, they need to be connected to survive and to thrive. Yes, and good for them because they recently got high-speed internet, oh, which has important. been great for local businesses. And West Stockbridge really has a lot going on, especially now through the holidays. You have walks, concerts, art shows, a little bit of something for everyone. All right, up next, turning out sweet syrup at Jackie's store.